The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I'm sorry I'm late, but I got a phone call about 10 minutes before the show started from somebody I hadn't talked to for a long time, one of my floor trading buddies. And uh, it was just like going to Old Home Week, and I uh, hopefully getting back on as a go we'll get him as a guest one of these days. But I uh, hadn't talked to him in about seven or eight years, so I lost total track of time. Let's take a look at some of these markets, folks. Uh, starting out here. Uh, well, there are several. We've got the gold. Remember, our, we're looking at gold now, folks. Down here, let's we'll get this weekly chart up here. There's a number, uh, 1826. The low so far has been today, 1842. So we're still looking for it to get down to this area right here, maybe even as low as below that. But because this big move down has been quite dramatic, there's been no uh, chance here last night for any type of a 382 the only thing that we did have was this little tiny abcd rally that came in uh, right there at uh, 45 and now we've come down this is a this is basically a three drive to a bottom pattern on a shorter time frame it does everything necessary because you have your first drive here your second drive here and your third drive here you can see you have nice symmetry between this, of course, the rally here is basically very little. So it looks like we're still heading down another 15 or at least $20 lower in the gold. Then we'll look at it again. Okay. So uh, that's that's basically what we're watching here. I, uh, I, my, I'm I having lots of technical problems with my speakers. Uh, for some reason, sometimes my speakers work, sometimes they don't. But let's move on to some of the other things that we're looking at. We had a very... We had a really interesting pattern here. This is the S&P overnight. If you remember, we came in on Friday, and uh, we ended up right there is where we were on Friday. There's Sunday night. Now, Sunday night, what the market did is it went right up to, guess what, the old 618, almost hit the 786. Then it started to go down. Here was the really first good ABCD pattern right there. That was the first ABCD pattern that came in. There's ABCD, and if you believe in Fibonacci, if you take your high down to your low, low and behold, there it is, and it dropped right down to here. That tells us we are going to be going lower. Now, we haven't made new lows yet uh, in the S&P, and the NASDAQ is holding up relatively well. So... Uh, this market is poised to go lower, it looks like, whether it's going to be today or tomorrow. If you get a rally, try to do it. Now, one of the things that we did in the video in the overnight uh, on Sunday was to be prepared for the 382 pattern and the ABCD. Here's the one we had on Sunday. Here's Sunday night. You can see here Sunday night. Here's Monday early morning. And uh, if you'd like 382s, and we'll certainly do. Somebody's ringing my, the bell here, so hold on just a second. I've got to come over here. Share screen one. That's what I did. I did I did share screen one. Well, let's try it again, Larry. What the heck? There we go. We got. Oh, Rich Anderson should be on the line today. Rich, are you there? Yes, I am, Larry. Uh, Rich, Good I'm morning. having all kinds of. Uh, I'm having all. But Rich, you know who just called me just about 20 minutes ago or a half hour ago. You remember, you remember uh, Paul Smilgus and uh, Grizz from the floor, the the Euro traders. Yep. Yeah, I yep. hadn't talked to him in about seven years, and his son is a sophomore here at the University of Arizona. So, anyway, Rich, let me get this done here. Uh, uh, hold on one second. I want to talk to you about the wheat market because uh, had a pretty good rally here. But first, I got to get this technical thing working. My speakers are not working, Rich, and as you know, when things go wrong with me, technically. It's a challenge. <laughs> All right. Let's get this I up know. here. We'll, we'll see if it's working now, and we'll ask everybody to hold on, and I'll get the wheat up. Now, we had a 50-cent break in wheat uh, over the uh, 
on that big report. Can tell the folks what's going on with these grain markets because you know they have really get, been hit really hard. Are people going to stop eating bread, or what's going on? Well, well, a, a couple of things, but for for the quarter, for the quarter, oil was up thirty percent and wheat was down seventeen percent. And uh, the talk is that you know that the funds are long the long the oil and uh, short the grains, wheat amongst them. But there was, there was a report on on Friday at the end of the quarter, and while it wasn't anything jarring for corn or beans, it was actually a little friendly corn and a little neutral beans. Uh, they found it on everything because they surprised the wheat market with a 78 million bushel increase. Most of that came in spring wheat, and you know I live in Minnesota. In fact, we're going to have 80 degree plus temperatures today, but no worries. By the weekend, it'll be 50. Um, but most of the summer, we have extremely challenging growing conditions, and yet they increased the yield in South Dakota wheat from 30 bushels an acre to 45. They increased wow, it 50% a... in one month. Wow. I mean, it's the second largest uh, yield for all the spring wheat. When we had uh, challenging growing conditions, you know, very hot and no moisture. Uh-huh. So um, it's, I think it's some magical thinking, but, you know, that sometimes happens from time, from time to time. But then what happens within the market, you saw the sell-off on Friday, where you have the option traders, right? And delta is how much an option moves versus the price. And gamma is, the gamma is how much the, the delta increases as the price moves. And so you had a gamma squeeze as all these people that were short put had to protect their positions and, you know, the professional traders and have to – the more the market goes down, the more they have to sell, and that's yeah. that's what you saw on Friday. And uh, the, the the biggest problem we have is the Mississippi River is low, and so it's hard getting grain down the Mississippi. We we need some moisture in the Midwest to get that river replenished. Um, yeah. And as an example, Ukraine sold a million tons of corn uh, to Russia in the last, or, or to excuse me, to China in the last couple of days. At, yeah. And you know, now can they get that grain out? They've had two cargoes go. They got loaded out of the Black Sea and are using the, what they think is a safe corridor. But all it takes is one uh, missile from the Russians, and all of a sudden the ships that are headed that way will decide it's not worth it. So it, yeah. it's going to be it's going to be interesting. The, the the real focus is we have another crop report, another USDA report on October 12th, and that'll give us some final numbers to deal with. So everybody's going to be focused on that. And then after that, it's strictly going to be focused on the weather in South America. But uh-huh. the, yeah, the sell-off on the wheat on, on Friday was a classic example of a gamma squeeze, where as the market goes down, your delta's increased, so you have to sell more to be delta neutral. And they increase at a faster rate, and that's the gamma, and you saw what happened. Yeah. And those things are yeah. usually relatively temporary. Now, today in the market... I see that they're picking on the bond something fierce as people yeah. are starting to believe that, you know, inflation, maybe it's going to be stickier than people thought. And if you, <laughs> in, inflation's measured against a year ago and the base rate a year yeah. ago is very low. So, hey, Rich, we got to pay, we gotta gotta pay a couple of bills. Can you please stay with us? Because I had two questions that sure. I wanted to ask you re- regarding freight rates. We'll be right back, folks, with Rich Anderson, Anderson Capital Management. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Educating investors.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds, as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, with uh, Rich Anderson and Anderson Capital Management. Rich, one of the things that uh, of the some of the things that you sent me was regarding the freight rates. Is, is it true that the freight rates uh, on the Mississippi have gone ballistic to the upside? Well, they've had uh, you know increases as much as there would be equivalent of sixty-seven cents a bushel for corn. Now oh that's my probably God. one or two barges, but the, the the problem is the level of the river is so low that they can only load the barges at a you know sixty or seventy percent, and they have to go through a very narrow channel, and so getting barges down and then getting barges empty barges back up or on the dead wow. leg back up is it, it, a problem. And, and we, you know we just we need some moisture, but the, the, the eventually Mother Nature will take care of that. We're hoping. Uh, <laughs> on the other hand, you know uh, you've got weather issues all over the world. You know they're they're starting to watch Brazil now. Brazil's still in pretty decent shape, but. They're yeah. starting to watch Brazil and right across the border in Argentina. They're still seriously dry, just as they were all this year. And, you know, they could be looking at another year of it. And, and then you've got Western Australia is dry and Southern Russia. One of the big the, – the October 12th report will be focused on demand for our grain. Uh -huh. And one of the big challenges is China's economy is slowing down to a creep. And – you know, they've been a big customer from time to time. The problem with the, the government anticipating what the demand is, they can sometimes be way off. You know, one year they had corn oh, that, that we were shipping 7 million metric tons yeah. to China, and they bought 30. You know, I mean, yeah. but right now we're not exactly getting along with China, so they're going to try and do without from us. So uh, yeah. it's going to be interesting. Well, one, the one interest thing rates uh, yeah. in the higher for longer in inflation, I think that's the key story because that that, that – translates into a higher dollar and our higher dollar makes all of our commodities more expensive to anybody who wants to buy them from around the world yeah that's for sure rich i remember you telling me about 30 years ago when we first well we've known each other more than 40 years but i remember you telling me once that we are only one crop away from famine in the world that if we have a bad crop here i mean a really bad one which we haven't had one for 40 or 50 years that would really cause some major problems in the world. It's still true, isn't it? I, that's that's still true. 
Um, and, but the genetics on the seeds, is, is, over the last 20 or 30 years, it's miraculous what they've done with the genetics to these seeds. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the corn was a, and beans were able to endure the drought this summer in, in relatively good fashion, uh, yeah. shockingly so, it, it would appear. Um, but still, you know, the, 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 we, we're going to have, um, because of the, the climate change in various areas, you know, we're going to have major food problems. The challenge is going to be to get the, the, the supplies where they're at to where they're needed, and uh, uh-huh. that's going to be a very big challenge. Wow, I know. Hey, listen, I want to thank you for joining us today. And Oh, by the way, one other question, uh, outlook on the soybean oil. What is your, uh, what's your opinion, you know, say in the next uh, uh, 60 days on soybean oil? We've had a pretty big sell-off. Is it near areas where you take a look at it from the long side? Yeah, like this. I'll I, get it I, I I like uh, accumulating down in here uh, with the idea that the government isn't going to throw any more curveballs at us, and that the soybean oil is going to get help from the uh, fine diesel, you know, uh-huh. and that it'll start to follow the oil prices. And that you know the the big houses in New York are talking uh-huh. about. I'm talking about GS. I'm talking about oh. crude oil a- being 125 dollars a barrel so you know oil soybean oil prices are not going to stay down here for that they're they're going to recline it for diesel and the government could help the farmers out for the corn um, by being a little more friendly to the ethanol and all would be well in the world yeah well you got to depend on the government and that's that's one day they're saying one thing and the next day they're doing another so who knows (laughs) <laughs> I think they watch. By, by, by the uh, way, uh, the, you, you, we were talking about your, your buddy Tommy Dittmer, and I'm yeah. looking at his book. And you know what the title of it is? I got it Talk over here. Yeah, he signed it. yeah, I know. Yeah, he's uh, he has a he had a big ranch up there. He just sold it up there in uh, San Inez. Remember, we used to go up to San Luis Obispo. We right. went by where Michael Jackson lived. He lives out there in Happy right. Canyon, and he's had this big. Uh, it's about 70 acres of, of, of his vineyard. He just sold it for four and a half million. He's lived there about seven years. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. He's well, he's a, a big... smart Iowa farm boy. That's what he yeah, is. Yeah, he sure is. <laughs> hey, listen, pal, <laughs> thanks for joining us. And uh, I, I certainly All right, really appreciate it. You trade well. It. Okay. All right, folks, we're going to take a look. This is the daily soybean oil that we were looking at. The uh, number was down here at 55.81. We made a lower low than Friday by a little bit. The low was at. Uh, 55.67, missed it by a little bit. We've had a pretty strong rally today since that. You'll be able to see it right there. There is the, uh, you can see the big uh, A, B, C, D to the downside. That's the one we were just looking at on the daily. There's your A, there's your B, there's your C. Well, you ought to draw it in for folks, right? I think we could do that. There's your A leg right there, off by a little bit. There's your B leg. C leg, D leg, there it is at 58.75. Uh, the low was 58.65, and now we've rallied. Wow, it's rallied $900, folks. We've taken out, uh, we've taken, uh, not quite. We haven't taken out the high of Friday yet, but if we do that, that'll be an outside day. That's usually a sign that the market's going to rally uh, even more. So let's uh, remind ourselves that sometimes these things do work. You know, they don't work all the time, but they work some of the time. All right, let's move on here to the uh, next one we want to look at here is just crude oil. We were on that before, and this is where we were. I, I recommended to the folks on uh, the weekend, of course, is to watch for a 382 rally here or an ABCD pattern to get short the crude oil. And as you can see here, we had a perfect ABCD pattern right here. There's your A, there's your B. There's your A leg right here. There's your A leg right there. There's your B leg right here. Your C D leg comes right in here at uh, 91.68. The high was uh, 91.81, and it made the first profit objective down here, $2,000, uh, $2,000 lower, and that's uh, pretty much what you'd like to see as you see these things move down. There's your A B leg right here. There's your C D leg. Uh, right there, and now we've had a little bit of a rally. And what I'm watching now, and uh, this is uh, going to be watching for the for the future. Here's I really think we've made some type of a major top here in the crude. Is to watch this one, folks. But watch this next A B C D. Remember, this is a oh shucks, I'll get this. For, 
<laughs> there it is. Watch 9013. Okay, the reason why that's important here, let me just get this out of the way here. The big 382 on this, because the market made a new low, you go down and you'll see that comes in within a hair's breath. We're saying 9013, and this is 9038. Well, remember, the mathematics precedes geometry. This is geometry. This is mathematics. So 9038 is where you want to play ball. Right there, you sell it right there, but you stop. You got to risk about a buck here, folks, because this is a wild son of a gun. But you stop right in there. We'll take a break. 877 927 6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, one of the things that I've learned through the years, and there's been a lot of years in here, is that when I hear these guys on Bloomberg and uh, last night I was starting to have technical difficulties, so I was alerted at 4.30, which I was already up. I get up about 4, and I realized my speakers were not working, so I can't hear the limit minders go off on my thing. I mean, I can see the flash of a trade, but I don't get to hear the beeper. 
to tell me that it's reached a certain level. So I was having a great deal of trouble. Anyway, let's take a look and get back to the Bloomberg. When I hear this stuff on Bloomberg, everybody going the right way, I start looking going the other way because I know that for every buyer, there's got to be a seller. So one of the things that we've been waiting for is a potential three drive to a bottom pattern here in the Treasury bonds. And you notice here, we made a, uh, a lower low than we made here on Friday. This is a four-hour chart. There was a low on Friday, and we came through that like it didn't even exist. And I mentioned in the newsletter, excuse me, in the video that I sent out, if you see a print under 112, I said that's probably going to be a buy, and the low was 111.31. We're trading at 112.16. I, I had an order <laughs> I had an order in there, but I didn't get filled. Should have probably put it in at 112. Anyway, that's just a possibility of this being, but, you know, we still got more to go. This would have been the ideal place to buy it, 111.21, but that was, you know, quite a bit away. But I really think we might be getting ready here for a pretty good rally here. Now, we've been going down since Hector was a pup, but that dog's nine years, nine years old now. But look at this. Things has been going down. Now, look at this. Since September, we went from 122. We dropped 10 handles. Look at these 382s all the way down, boys and girls. you gotta, you got to respect those puppies. So here's where we are right now. Let's look at that a little bit. Buy it in a minute here. Hold on a second. Had a little bit of a rally. That's all we've had so far. Now, this is getting inside my head, which uh, you don't have to take notes because there's not much in there. But if you take your high of the last rally, okay, up to here, down, you'll see that we are up against the 382 now. If we start getting above, we are getting above it. We start getting above this 382. If you buy it now, you got to risk 500 bucks. But this could be a big, big change because you got the whole world in your hands, as they say in that in that song. But uh, anyway, we we could start moving higher. Uh, this was the probably the best time to buy it was somewhere in here after it took out the one. Uh, 112 uh, level, and but I missed that uh, for three or four different reasons. I guess none of them make any sense. But anyway, that's what I'd be watching here. Is if we start getting above here, that uh, you know this could be the place where it's going to run to. I I'd be really scared being short in here, actually, folks. And I'm not. Uh, oh, we got another from that high that we made here. Uh, this is Sunday night's high. Can you believe that? Look at this thing from Sunday night. Yeah, this Sunday we just hit the 3A2 of the Sunday night side. We started getting above 112.20. This thing, what, let's say 112.21, I think it's going to have a hell of a rally. There was the high overnight, and we went from 113. We dropped two handles, folks, $2,000 on the news that uh, China stuff was not going well and the, everything else, and the, the fact they, they disregarded the fact that uh, our uh, bills were going to be paid in time or whatever. Uh, anyway, we'll see what's going on here with some of these others. Okay, let's move on here to another one that someone asked us about, and that was the cattle. We want to look. They've been bearish for quite some time. Let's just see how they're doing here today. There's the December cattle. We'll get this up on a half hour. Hope we get a rally. Oh, we're coming in here. There we go. Here's our cattle right now. Okay, here's what's been going on here. We've been coming down. Here's today's action. We uh, opened uh, opened higher today, which is good. We stopped right here. First thing you want to do if you were trading is measure from your big high right back there. And the 50% uh, came. We didn't quite make the 61, but we made it here. You can see there's your zone where you would be watching to sell it right there at around uh, 190. It's down uh, 700, $600 from where you sold it if, you, if you're looking at that. So... Get ready to, you know, this market is going to be going lower. And just to get some idea of uh, some profit objectives, if you were doing this. And cattle is a huge market, folks. There's a lot of hedge funds in this stuff. So we'll get this up here. Oh, I have to tell you a really great story uh, about, uh, hold on, just a baseball story. Hold on right here. We're looking like we're going to get down another two points here in the cattle. So we're, we're heading lower. <laughs> I was watching a little bit of a baseball game on Sunday with the Phillies. Uh, we're, I can't even remember. They were playing the Padres or somebody, but anyway, that guy, you know how you bring in your, your animals that to help you move, they called, uh, helpful animals or something like that, you know, for people that are invalids, you know, it's easier help. Usually they're dogs. Once in a while, there might be something else. This guy had a a, a helpful alligator. He, 
<laughs> an eight foot alligator. And the alligator has been doing this for like six years. When he goes to take it to the Phillies game, the Phillies sex security people would not allow the, the alligator to go into the park. And so you know what's going to happen next. His first phone call was to an attorney. Yes. And they're suing the Phillies because they're not being uh, open enough to leave a eight foot alligator. If you don't believe that, it's go you can Google it because I, I saw after I saw the news, I Googled it just to see how many French fries were in that guy's Happy Meal because I I don't think I'd want to be sitting in a ball game next to a pet alligator. God, I married one. Hey, let's move on here to another one here. We keep an eye on this, folks. This is getting ready. And if this gets ready to run, if this gets ready to run, then the stocks might have a bounce. But that's uh, they're not bouncing right now. They're just they're just heading lower. Let's move on here to the. Uh, we covered this here in the uh, crude oil. We've already done that. That's uh, it should be coming down here a little bit more. All right, now let's take a quick look. We haven't looked at this in a while, which is natural gas. And here's where we are here over the past uh, few uh, weeks here. Well, let's try that last few days. This is a 15-minute chart. And uh, you can see the ABCD patterns here. They're just about, uh, you know, this is really tough stuff. Yeah, Johnny, I know. Fall asleep, I don't care if you think it's, uh... oh, there's one that worked, Johnny. Look at that. Went right up to the high there. Then we came down, and then we make an ABCD to the downside. <laughs> My God. Why am I telling people this? This is a secret stuff. You shouldn't have to do this. I mean, this is a mother God and country stuff, boys and girls. And look at the look at natural gas. Look at that. That's just three. And there's another one in here, too. Wow. This is amazing. Even, uh, sorry, folks, I have a. I don't have an allergy today because I have a head cold. I can tell the difference, and uh, it's been uh, been kind of tough. The, my biggest problem is this problem with the speakers because I don't. I'm going to have to take this, the the uh, uh, laptop out and take it down to Dan, the computer man, and see if he can get it fixed because it's not working. And I need those. I need to know where these markets are when they hit certain price objectives as you can imagine in here so anyway this is what we're looking at let's just look at this on the daily see where we are and uh wow this is a little data in here that's where the switching over the contracts haven't updated this daily for a while there's a abcd's on the way up that's the one we just saw two days ago we'll draw that in let's take a break 877-927-6648 we'll be right back You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Oh, okay, we're back, folks, and we'll take a quick look here at the uh, British pound and also the uh, the euro uh, you'll notice here that the pound is uh, banging up against the 786 and the 1.618 we'll just get this up here it's a big number here that we're looking at here in this pound nobody likes it I mean this is about this is almost as bad as anybody liking the bonds but uh, there's where we are there's the 786 hold it right there's the 382 and there's the 786, and I just got a call. Let me double check here what's going on with TFNN. We got a caller in, Jim, from Palm Harbor. Jim, how are you? How are you? How are you? I'm doing okay, Larry. Um, I TLT. Um, wanted to rest your voice a little bit. And, and, and <laughs> I was looking back. This has got to be, oh, maybe 2007. I heard you it used to be your weekly call in to uh, Tom O'Brien on his radio show. Yes, sir. It had to be, I'm almost going to guess it was Wednesdays. And we used to circle that time and make sure I was either in a car that had an AM or FM radio mm -hmm. that could uh, listen to your your um, listen to your voice. And uh -huh. the information you, give, you have given people has been unbelievable over the years. And now just watching, I've, I've always thought if I could look over your shoulder, and just watch you, and, and you've pulled out these patterns over the last month. I've <laughs> learned so much. Um, and I would have never heard of people like a Stan Harley or a Richie Anderson or a Norm Winsky or a Mike Moore or, or a, uh, a Stan Harley and then Bill Bill Meridian, Bill Meridian, John Person. Yeah, there's a lot of them in there. And, and thanks to you, you know, we've, we've heard some varying opinions and different strategies. But it's it's really been a wealth of knowledge over all this time. So hang on to that voice of yours because um, <laughs> you provide something very valuable. Well, and I'll um, tell you, I, I strained uh, my I voice when I was singing with Sinatra and uh, when they opened Dean up in, in Europe and Asia. And I I actually lost. I was actually I had a down week, even though I was short most of the week in the S and P. But thank goodness for my TVT trades because. Over the last two, three weeks, I've really done really well. The TBD is, TBT is the opposite of the TLT, though. Sure. Um, so I've, I've done really well. That saved, has saved my bacon. But when you just made this comment now recently about the TLT, I just pulled up a, um, I guess this is a 15-year weekly going back to, at least 10 years going back to 2014. Uh -huh. And we broke through this low of um, July of last summer on the TLT, and yes, now we you have. can possibly look look for a um, you know look for a, a reversal. So I'm, I'm actually um, I've actually hedged my TBTs right now. I, I like um, that. I like that very much. If you look at the, uh, I don't know if you can see the monitor or not, but we'll do one here together. This is uh, this is going back since October. We have made the 1.27 uh, expansion. And we've also, if you look at this on the daily basis, this is exactly like what we're seeing in the bonds. You're looking at an ABCD pattern that completed today 
at uh, well, it hasn't completed because oh wait, it's drawn wrong. Just a second, this thing is so damn sensitive. Larry, Larry you've got to hit that chart thing again because I don't see it. Hold on, we'll just give me a second here. Yeah, it came with it. Wow, it came with ten cents of the actual. Oh, let me see if. Uh, hold on, I will ask TF at it. If, if, oh, you know what the problem is? Is that I have. Uh, I think I've got to reshare it, so stare with me here, my friend, okay? And I'll get this up here, and we'll get this moving pretty good, I think. And we'll get the screen one. Hopefully, God bless us, everyone, as to Tiny Tim would say. Okay, there is the chart. There's your pattern here. Uh, th this is, this is. I wouldn't be short this thing if they let me trade for free. Look at this. Look at this, uh, uh, Jim. This is really interesting. I'm going to do the time sequence on this from the high down to the low was uh, 22 trading days. So if that's the case of the AB leg, the CD leg should do 22 days too. So we'll just measure it over from the high down to the low. That is an amazing <laughs> chart, by the way. Yeah, well, it comes either today or tomorrow. So watch that. I'd be really careful being short the bonds uh, very shortly here because uh, it, it, they're coming in. All this is is a rally, Jim. You're looking at one of the most bearish markets we've had in 30 years, and it's going to stay bearish. You might even get a huge rally in this, but trust me, this thing's going lower. In other words, higher interest rates. This is just the beginning. They're well, I going think to... people people are, are spoiled. It, it you know they keep thinking yeah. that oh well you know the economy and people can't sustain five six uh, percent, but you know that that back then five six. 7% was a great deal. 10% on the 30-year fixed mortgage was a great deal. And yep. and that that is the normal, not the 3%, the 2.5% on the 30-year yeah. fixed that, that people have seen. And I, it just makes me wonder about these life insurance companies and the pension funds that have, you know, they stocked up on the 30-year bonds and they got their three and a quarter and their 3.5%. And now they've lost 40% in a real short period of time. Yeah, there's some trouble working that's, there. That's, that's that's the real underlying problem that's out there. I think so. How's real estate moving down there in Florida? Um, it, well, everybody's coming from New York or New Jersey or uh, Connecticut or Illinois, and and uh, even people from California. They they used to go towards Vegas. They used to go towards Arizona and stop in Austin, yeah. Texas, and now they're making the uh, the leap from California all the way to Florida. Yeah, um, wow. we've got a pretty um, great leadership here and um, you know you can walk on a beach without a mask yeah without getting mugged too most of the time most of the time not unlike Philly <laughs> or New York or Chicago that's always swept underneath yeah. the uh, that's the pretty tough that's for sure fortunately we haven't had these splash mobs that show up all of a sudden because they've got a calculator Oof. and they know if you uh, yeah, more, more I saw that. I saw these young arrested, kids. But if, you, yeah, it's, it's, uh, if it's eight hundred seventy-four dollars, you can don't even have to be worried about being picked up or posted yeah, on. Uh, so very, very sad. But we won't situation. go in. We won't go in that though. <laughs> no, no. Otherwise, I can't take your calls anymore, partner. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, here's a quick question: what do you, How does your afternoon go? Do you take a nap? Do you eat lunch? Do you get some fresh air? I wait. Yeah, I you don't yes, the golf real simple. I, I get up. I get up at four in the morning, usually between three and four. Usually three thirty, four o'clock. I go to bed at ten. I sleep about five or six hours. I prepare. I already prepared what I was going to do for the day. I double check to make sure everything's doing what I think it's going to do. Then by about six o'clock, I've got a little bit of a break right before the stock market opens. That's when I have my breakfast, and I usually mm -hmm. have a. I only eat three things. I eat either cowboy bacon. I eat that twice a week. That's just two strips of bacon. It looks like beef jerky, but it's delicious. I have oatmeal two days a week. And on the sixth day, I have uh, bacon and eggs. I have one egg and two strips of bacon and one piece of toast. That's my – I don't change it ever. I, that's what I eat all the time. So, And for lunch, for lunch, I eat lunch around 11.30, and I'll have just a very light lunch, and I don't even eat dinner. I only eat uh, basically – uh, two meals a day is all I eat. I have a piece of fruit or something, or maybe a piece of toast in the evening if I'm hungry. But I don't really. Popcorn is my biggest thing. I I love popcorn. I have that in the evening, but it's not. You're just plain popcorn with no butter and no salt. It's rather dull, but I like it. So that's that's the way to go. That's the that's way to it. go. So you yeah. have a you have a great one. Yeah, Jim, thank you, you so much for the kind words, and I'll get this twenty dollars out to you as soon as I can. Okay. 
I'll, I'll look for that check in the mail. Have a great I'm week. waiting for I'm waiting for the fifth race at Gulfstream to come in on Thursday. I'll let you know, okay? <laughs> Thanks. You bet. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and we have Peter from Park City, Utah, on the line. Peter, how are you doing today, my friend? Hey, great, Larry. Hey, I know you only have a second, but uh, I'm watching the market today. I'm starting to see a lot of uh, divergences that I think should set up for a rally. I mean, you've got bonds in uh, the euro putting in new lows while you've got the stock market. You know, the ES is, you know, 40 points off the bottom still. And yeah. I think that's kind of like confirming, at least as I look at this, uh, that the euro is about to bounce, the bond's about to bounce, dollar will correct a bit. Am I right in this reading? Well, between the two of us, one great mind is thinking the right way, and I think it's you. But I've looked at that TBT. I've got it up here now, but that's a perfect ABCD up here, just like the TLT was an ABCD to the downside. I see the same thing in the bonds. I think we're getting ready for a rally. Uh, you're right. We are 40 handles higher, you know, and the S&P and the NASDAQ is even a little better than that. So... That's telling me that we're probably getting ready for a rally. The bonds are so oversold that they got a rally someday just for some fun, you know. 
Yeah, no, and they, I mean they've held last week's lows uh, both in the uh, bond and the euro at the moment. So, and the dollar is kind of teetering with last week's highs. So it, it looks. Uh, I mean, the divergences look to be there. All right, I just uh, had a moment, and I figured I'd give you a quick shout. Thanks for everything. Anytime, my friend. I enjoy talking to you. I certainly do. So call anytime, Peter. All right, we'll do. You bet. Okay, folks, we're almost ready to wind up. The next show is Peter Bruno from Wall Street Week. He'll be up as uh, for TFNN, and I'll be back with you tomorrow. And our guest tomorrow, folks, will be Bill Meridian. He's going to be starting the whole show, so don't miss it. It'll be a lot of fun tomorrow. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.